Yeah, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. If he holler, let him go, he ain't mean to mind him more. <laughs> okay, I just had to do the song again. <laughs> okay, um, uh, Rocker Scooby, let's have some tea, buddy. <laughs> Okay, I can't remember right off the bat, so I'm going to say this is probably show and tell with uh, Dr. Groovy. Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com. I'm thinking this is number five, um, but that might be because I'm confused. No, not me. <laughs> uh, with Because I got five items in today. You're like, well, it could have been a whole lot more if you would have giving me your address by now, dang it. Still again, folks. Crazy, crazy busy, and it's not going to get any lighter. Again, for anybody who don't know, yes, I joined up with another band that'll be full-time, and my gig's here full-time, and everything else added on top of it. Um, again, got another Johnson amp today, the JT50. They were supposed to do a JT100 stereo version of that, but they never did. It closed down beforehand. Okay, so trading for the lessons again. Uh, people are still, after four of these videos, are still writing at every address in the world except for the one they're supposed to, which is groovy lessons at AOL.com. If you write at Mr. And Mrs. Woodworker at AOL.com, uh, I'm not answering you. If you write at groovy DJs at AOL.com, I'm not answering you. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta write where you're supposed to write. Okay, so five different things came in today. Um, all very different, all, well, two of them somewhat similar. Some way out there, and one in particular that I've been waiting for. Okay, so let's just, let's just start off with the flippin' bazaar. And I enjoy this one. And I'm having a hard time breathing in here right now. <laughs> No, I, I didn't shit myself or nothing. <laughs> and, yes, I blocked a few people from the whole eeny, meeny, miny, mo Jesus loves me song. A lot of people bailed out and said, I'm not sticking around for this bullshit. And I said, I'm not having all your Bible thumpers here. So, again, you guys see why I disable comments. Because I like to stir shit and then some people can't handle it, so. Just had to get rid of some people who can't handle it. <laughs> so, bye. Okay. I gotta show you this big prick this one guy sent me. No, this thing this big prick sent me. No. How do you say it? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this prick. He already knows what it is. Right here. I'm gonna grab my, my letter first. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay. Um, this guy, John. Um, let me see. He's over here. I know, um, I know he's over in New Hampshire. New Hampshire? Yeah, I was right. Okay. Um, goes by the name of Rock Digger. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's what I always see. Rockin' Digger. Okay, he's a rockin' digger, not just a rock digger. He's a rockin' digger. Um, he actually goes around, you know, with digging up crap, you know, using his metal detector and all that kind of junk. And um, I'm getting back into it as well. Um, so I'm going to grab me a nice white metal detector and go back at it again and hit the uh, hit the desert, man. Uh, a lot of places where a lot of people have been slain over the years. So I'm going to go check those areas out, some remote places. But... It could be fun. Um, I will read this in a little bit. Okay, so John sent me. <laughs> God, this is just unique. It's just a wild assortment of stuff. Um, I don't know where to begin. Okay, let's start with... Uh, here's a photo of how much snow they got over there in New Hampshire. Uh, yep, that's the vehicle. <laughs> Sick and crazy, man. I, I haven't seen any snow, I don't think, 
barely. I saw some once on the side of a mountain a couple months ago, I think, from a distance. From a distance. Okay. This looks, I'm not sure. Somebody help me out out there, okay? I don't, maybe he'll tell me what it is. This particular coin. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to see. Okay, so that, that big prick's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just reading stuff as as we go here. Um, okay. I don't know the actual story. He says it's a replica coin here that are supposed to sell for a hundred bucks which he says is crazy but he got it for free and uh, the pi anyway the picture of the snow they got 10 to 16 inches of snow today that's just one day snow you know on top of the new stuff so 10 to 16 inches in New Hampshire um, so whatever day this was actually written on man you guys are getting pummeled anyway coinage I mean just Cool, huh? Okay, now I'm going to show you some real coinage. And if anybody like uh, has this stuff too, I, I love all these things. Um, this here is just the uh, 79. No, nothing in particular. Um, but you know, and it's in the box and all ready to go. But these are the U.S. stuff, and I love U.S. stuff. Of course, just as much as anything, I'll go ahead and take it out of this part. But you have the 79 uh, proof set, which are, of course, always meant to be extra shiny. Not your uncirculated stuff, but they actually do a different process to actually do uh, the proof sets for collectors. So how sweet, man. That's cool. So he didn't dig in. I told him, said, hey, give me something you dug out of the ground or something. <laughs> Um, a couple things in here could have been dug out of the ground, <laughs> which I'll do next. It, it's, dude, you, John, you sent, you, <laughs> you've topped a few of them here. Uh, this is just funny stuff, and I love it. Um, just made me smile. Every, everything that I came across in here just made me smile, even the snow. And let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this here's the uh, whole deal on the coin. Okay, so it's a you know Spanish doubloon replica, and of course, like I said before, hey, metaldetector.com. <laughs> okay, um, told you he was one of these guys. I have received. Yes, more food. I'm all about it. Um, some sour cream and onion. You ready? You're like, get to the damn point. Quit messing around. Crickets. Damn straight. <laughs> I'll flip it. No, they're real. They're in there, dudes. Sour cream and onion. Crickets. So we got little baby grasshoppers here. <laughs> How great is that? <laughs> I just can't wait to spring to spring these on some people. That's that is too funny. I love that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you John's prick. <laughs> and I got poked. <laughs> okay, this here's our final item, and then I'll kind of read the little letter that came along with it. But Wow, and it took some doing to open this thing. Ah, but I got him out. Yeah, it's a him. I checked the genitalia already. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm holding it by a string and by... <laughs> That's a puffer fish, boy. And these things are sharp, sharper than the needles on the... Um, cactus around here. So yeah, they, that's their self-defense mechanisms. They puff themselves up and they got these hard quills on here. That's 
a puffer fish right there. <laughs> that fucker hurts. <laughs> you done, I've, um, you, got, you might have saw the video I did of the, um, oh, this whammy pedal thing over here. Anyway, see these two places on my arm? <laughs> these two holes? That's from John's Crick. <laughs> So they've dried up a little bit, but <laughs> how is that for beautiful? Um, I've got the doorbell outside the house that you ring, and it does absolutely nothing. It's not hooked up. Hasn't been forever. And it's got, of course, the uh, handyman's secret weapon, according to Red Green. Yep, all you people in Canada, you know about Red Green. Uh, duct tape, handyman's secret weapon, right over top of the uh, doorbell outside. I want to hang him right next to where the doorbell is, because everybody still stands there and pushes a button. UPS guy, everybody, and it has written in Sharpie on top of the gray duct tape says, Broken, knock. And they still sit there and push that doorbell right through the duct tape. And I'm going to put him right in front of the doorbell so that they go to touch anything, and, it, and that's going to be my guard fish right there. So, <laughs> interesting from John. All this paper stuff, that's where this pricky fish goes, but I'm, I'm seriously, I'm going to put him to use and my crickets and everything else, so John, thank you very much, um, uh, says Scott, hope you enjoy the puffer fish, it is a real fish that has been uh, freeze dried, uh, I got it at the local man cave, I think it's from uh, the Amazon, uh, the guy told me it's legal to own, and I put in some uncirculated US coins, uh, but I think they're worth 30 to 50 bucks or whatever. And also in the bag um, is the replica coin we saw. And he shows me where to go check them out. We're getting 10 to 16 inches of snow today. I'll send you a picture, which he did, of the aftermath. Um, he talks about the crickets from an orchard, orchard beach, Maine. Pretty weird. <laughs> I mean, you can try them, but I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, they've been unsealed for a long time. But I kept them just to show people, which is exactly what I'll do. Anyway, hope you enjoy things and the things I sent you. And uh, thanks for all the videos. He's learned so much, blah, blah, blah. And addresses and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Your lessons are on the way, man. That, that's just too cool. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I spelled my name right. <laughs> Some, I end up being scoot. Okay, here's what I've been waiting for. This one. Labeled. Uh, Dr. Groovy. And then my address right below it. Okay. From Canada. On Ontario, Canada. I'm going to put this right up top. My... Um, Jim Dunlop, just one single pick, plenty. I'm going to put it in my stash of picks right now. Nylon. And, um, I've been talking about this one for a while, um, from Steve. Steve Leitner up in Canada. Um, okay, let's, let's just tell you this. This is what I got. That's all I asked for. And this was from the guy who's going to have the toughest time doing it uh, just because he has MS, multiple sclerosis. So it's tough to do anything. He can't even play an instrument anymore. At all. Not zero. Um, I'll just simply read you the letter. And uh, dated February 12th. Hi, Scott. Now that I've started printing. Yep. So handwritten. And it gets you just as much as sending any extravagant gift. Again, this is totally fine. And again, he can't play at all, but yeah, he gets all the lessons, and you'll see why. And again, this is all I've asked for. And this is as special, if not more, than anything else. Um, now that I've started printing, I have become aware of how hard this is going to be. He told me it was going to be tough to do this, to actually write, because it's hard. I can't hold the pen very well, and the effort so far is uh, making me run out of breath. Or maybe it's you. <laughs> I would like to thank you for making 
um, your no bullshit videos. It's nice to get the straight goods. I'm watching your uh, check your nuts video as I print this. <laughs> Keep getting sidetracked. Um, my old life, before I got sick with multiple sclerosis, um, I worked on high performance car engines and worked uh, oh, a world full of dumb motherfuckers for sure. <laughs> and I found a guy named Larry, I won't mention his last name, uh, who's like you, just no bullshit, and uh, he just wanted to help uh, people, but, oh, and um, he built fast engines, so I feel lucky that I have found some guys who shoot straight in both my passions. I guess it seems silly that I'm so into guitars, even though I can't play anymore. But I can pass on your knowledge onto my guitar playing know-it-all son. <laughs> um, says, well, my hand is getting tired, so I'm going to call it a day. You rock, sir. Sorry, this was such a short, hard-to-read letter, but this is as good as I get. Um, says, my music is here, and it gives me his reverb nation. Dot com. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to give it out or not, but if you guys want to hear Steve's stuff, it's... Uh, he actually calls himself Cripple Guy with a K. K R I P P L E Guy over at Reverb Nation. You can come check it out or you can check him out on YouTube under Steve Leitner, L E I T N E R. Um, so that's it that from Steve. So I've been honestly looking forward to this letter since um, part one of all this. So that's, that's the letter I've been waiting on. I just couldn't wait to receive this one. Um, so, thank you, my friend. And, of course, everybody that I mentioned tonight, I will be uploading this video tonight as I'm sending all the downloads to everybody. Okay, so Steve, rock and roll, my man. It'll be there sometime tonight. And feel better, man. Uh, yeah, we're all sick. You've got it bad. Other people got it bad. I'm not diminishing anything. Um, we all have our things, and for you to go through that, to send me that, because I knew it was going to be tough, and just all the thanks in the world, my man. Much love. Appreciate it. Okay, here's one that is stinking up the house, but I love it. I've got to find why well, I can do it here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get my letter out. Okay. I think it smells great. I just use this stuff for, uh, this is uh, from Missouri, from Rick Jackson. Here's my note. Okay, um, I'll read through it. Uh, Scott, I'm Rick Jackson, and I just want to take the opportunity to tell you I think trading your lessons to those less fortunate people might not who might not otherwise get to benefit from all of the work that you have put into helping others understand music is fabulous. Thank you, my man. You obviously have a gift and a passion for what you do, and that, my friend, is something that very few people get to experience. True. Um, I couldn't believe I waited so long to thunk it up, but hey, better late than never, huh? I believe that music is what our emotions look like, expressed in a way that everyone can understand. Thank you for sharing all yours with all of us. And it's my pleasure to always do it. Whatever mood I'm in, you know. You guys that take the good with the bad, through the crazy, with the whatever. Hey, it's just people being people, you know. Um, I will work hard trying to learn about how to express my emotions through music with your help. And that is uh, what we call sharing the gift, exactly. Uh, I probably won't achieve near the same level of skill you have done, but I do have a passion for doing so, and we shall see. And I want tickets to the front row of your first concert, whatever it may be. <laughs> Maybe at some point I can do a YouTube video about how I've learned to play uh, with your help and generosity. Of course. I would love to see it. Um, I will show you this, then I'll read the final end of the letter. The single gift in here, and boy, you can you can smell it. And I'm, I've been wondering if there's anything fun inside. Wow! 
the first time I popped the seal on. <laughs> wow, man. You're like, what? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, folks, those are. You can't get these. <laughs> My coffee beans. Okay? I mean, I'm a major coffee drinker too, along with the tea. Yes, for some reason I drink decaf, diet, green ginseng tea, then I drink as much caffeinated coffee as humanly possible, along with <laughs> my antidepressants and my uh, anti-anxiety stuff, you know, the Xanax and the, all the other stuff, and the lower tabs and the, what is that other crap? Not Paxil, but the other crap. Oh well, so uppers and downers and pain pills and stuff, but holy crap, this stuff smells good. Now let's tell you about this. So I get to grind it myself and have the freshest coffee around that nobody else gets. Let's hear about the coffee real quick. So I hope you enjoy the coffee. It is uh, grown in... I'm not good at Mexican. Well, yeah, I am. My wife's half Mexican. I'm pretty good at her. <laughs> uh, it looks like Chiapas, Mexico. Mexico. No X. It's silent. Mexico. By a group of uh, very small farmers. Little bitty guys like this. <laughs> right? Little bitty tractors and all getting a little Volkswagen together. You get thir 13 of them in are dressed as clowns. Uh, it, it is a co-op that is traded on the fair trade market. So the little guy can compete with the big corporate assholes. It is sort certified organic and I have roasted it to perfection in my opinion. I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy it sincerely, Rick. And I will, big time. I'm going to grind these up in the morning and little by little and cup by cup. And I will continue to be in touch over this. So my wife's like, can you hide that like in the garage or something? I will, but every morning it's coming back out when you're at work because I'm going to grind me up another, you know, three or four cups every morning. And I mean, this is no, <laughs> I don't know how he got all this into such a small box. Well, I do that every day. Yeah, the wife still holds together good. <laughs> it's that small box. Okay, um, the other two have one thing in common, which is cool. Okay, right here from Brent Storm. I've been talking to him a few times. Brent, from out there in California. And... He showed me a photo of these and asked if I'd be interested in them before he sent them. Um, which is generally good. Sometimes I, I don't mind being surprised, but then again, some people are just like, give me your address. And again, I don't know if it's just to come kill me or what. So I, I like it when people kind of show me the picture of what's coming. Not that I don't want to be surprised, you know, it's just, um, it is what it is. And I'm sure you get it. Um, Hello, Scott. Thanks for the lessons in advance. Looking forward to learning a lot. Thanks for all you do and for the pe for the people with your generosity. Find uh, Enclosed, you will find the three things that we discussed about trading. Enjoy them, Brent. And Brent has written many times and has replied many times, so it's good to react, you know, interact with everybody. It's very cool. Now, what I have received from Brent are actually three high-quality used guitar straps but these are the ones that I will probably I've probably got 40 straps over here but I hardly ever use any of them but these I will actually probably use on a regular basis they're worn in they're wider than those two and a half inch things and they are me they they feel like an old pair of jeans when you put I've already put guitars on these and checked them out and they're also amazingly comfortable um, this one is just so cool, and they're all, like I said, high, high, high quality. Look at this, kids. I mean, yeah, you're talking leather, okay? And so you're looking at like three-inch straps here, which really alleviate a lot of the uh, stress of a heavy instrument. So for some of my um, heavier things, like those Brian Eastwood distorted casters and stuff, I mean, this is real comfy stuff here. Let the light hit it for you. You can see the suede on the back. And yeah, this is just, that's pure comfort. 
Okay. These are these are awesome. And I mean look at that. That's just that's just classy, that country. I've got on my country shirt today. Country till the day I die. And yep, I'm still all about it. And you guys are like, hey, what about that band you joined? Were you gonna tell us about them ever? Well, I can if you want a little bit. I used to play with two of them, the fiddle player and the drummer, who have since got married. Yes, one's a girl, the fiddle player. Uh, the band is called Most Wanted. There's a few Most Wanted bands in the world, but these guys are out of Cedar City, Utah. You can check them out online at um, mostwantedband.org. O-R-G, not org. Okay, and go in there and check out. I'm taking Mike's place. Um, so be busy all the time and you can see where I'm playing at and um, they do a lot of opening concert gigs too so I'll be back to the opening shows not headline stuff but you know opening stuff so you know they are the band around here so be back doing that but yeah these will be what the kind of stuff I'll be wearing at those shows because it's their country I'll be having my boots on my hat on be playing uh, wild ass looking guitars though. Um, the second one, there's three straps here all together. Right here is actually, and I have my Silver Creek um, fiddle up here, which of course don't take a strap, but if you can see right here is the Silver Creek logo. Right here again, you're looking at suede on suede. Um, backside, this is white. The front is just cowboy tan right there. Okay, that nice rich brown color, I mean just country as a dozen eggs. Okay, again three inch wide and comfy as all get out. Now here's where it really kicks into high gear. The most, you're dang near at four inches here. <laughs> My wife gets excited when I talk anything over three inches. Um, and she really enjoyed this one as much as I did too. This strap is awesome. Um, this is a Les Paul strap or anything heavier, which I my acrylic uh, Steve Vai guitar, you know, which I have to play with a lit up strap, which is really thin with a two and a half inches. But when I play it here, this sucker, look at this. I mean, any of you, any of you guys out there, you know your leather, your whips and chains, but this is, I mean, that's pure comfort right there. I put that puppy on. Uh, with the last Paul today just to check it out and it is I mean look at that that's that's padding there that's it feels like you're on a lazy boy you know it's a quality 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 strap so he showed these to me in advance I'm like hell yeah and the fact that they were used that's one of these the Paris you know so high-end stuff um, Made up north for our buddies up there. Uh, made in Canada, eh? So, I mean, this is just as comfortable as a flip and get. So, dude, I can't, I can't thank you enough, Brent. Um, the, the, these are awesome. I mean, listen, it's just like your most comfortable lazy boy, or your favorite blow up doll. <laughs> But dude, honestly, I, I, I mean, that that's that's country. That that means something to me. That's these are just the right thing, you know. It's like I was vague on you know whatever, and I, and I said, hey, give me whatever. I don't care. But these I care about. <laughs> that is awesome. You know, it's just I can't say anything else. That, yeah, I know everybody's like, shut up, man. This thing's already half an hour long, and you're sitting there squeezing guitar straps whatever you know but people who send me stuff um, before I even send you the, the downloads you 100% need to be recognized and for anybody who finds this part of it fun cool a lot of people ask me to show this stuff and I am genuinely touched by each and everything that comes in and like I said I was uh, so for Steve Leitner's letter I've been waiting for this since day one, and that's that's just me, you know. That's that's what I wanted to get here because I knew it was gonna be tough for him to do it. 
last but not least for, for today. Um, Benito Gonzalez. Okay, um, Illinois. Man, that's close to that's close to home. Um, great stuff. I'm gonna say his guitar strap that he sent for last without his other stuff, his letter, handwritten. Everybody's been doing the handwritten and I love that. Priority mail too. Everything came priority mail. My puffer fish, my coffee came priority mail. Everything's coming priority mail. It's just a beautiful flipping thing. And did I have got everything is just zoom 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 zoom. Um God yeah the guitar strap everything. Um first one the white trash mafia <laughs> CD. That's great. Um, this is just. Let me see. Music I'll get around. I'm gonna. I'm gonna love this. I mean, how could you not like something called White Trash Mafia? <laughs> that's. God, that's just. I wish I would have thought of that name up before whoever came up with that because I'm going to be all over there. I love listening to, to the tunes. I got a Les Paul. Yeah, I'm telling the truth. And if I click it, LEDs, man. How <laughs> flipping cool. Huh? Me and my LEDs, so he sends me an LED guitar. <clears throat> Yeah, you just push on the, uh, where it's notched out right here, according to <laughs> Rock or Scooby. It's not a cutaway, it's a notch out. <laughs> I'm, I'm digging the Scooby stuff, so if you want to be hard on him, be hard on him. But if you want to have fun with him, let's have fun with him. I'm having a fun, I'm having a good time with the guy. Uh, so that's just too cool. So anytime I'm really tripping, man, I could be rocking on this. Um... And before I show the strap, which will be the last thing that will be out of here, I'm going to... Um, oh, okay. I'm going to read, again, handwritten letters. I, again, I don't know why, but it's just it just shows effort, and I'm into the old ways. And, you know, old people get stuck in old ways. I'm probably, my generation's probably the last generation that will do handwritten letters. Um, everything is just a computer, so it says here, uh, I've been playing guitar for 27 years and I stumbled onto your YouTube channel three months ago. Since then, I followed it religiously, no pun intended, on the Jesus loves me, <laughs> and um, I've learned a lot. And, okay, get this. You guys got to learn this because I teach grammar lessons on here too if you've never learned them and spelling lessons it says I've learned a lot a lot is two words just as he wrote a space then lot l-o-t there is no such word as a-l-o-t so learn from him okay so take it from this man a lot two different words so I guess you can really teach an old dog new tricks. I love it when the older guys learn something new. That's the best thing around. Uh, I have found many more of your videos to be very useful uh, in my endeavors to purchase new equipment. I also uh, find your brand of humor is hilarious. Thank you. I know I'm sick and twisted, but you know, hey, it is what it is. And if you're still here, you know, God love you. Uh, when I heard about your uh, thing, you know, trading for lessons, uh, I got very excited and believe there is still a lot I can learn from you. So I have for you today a CD of a band I was in, uh, playing um, the guitar lighter uh, doesn't light, you know, so that's actually a lighter. It's got the hole uh, right up here for the butane to come out, but you know, stuff that was cool. Um, it says. Uh, a guitar lighter doesn't light, and this strap, which I won't mention what it says yet, 
So the lighter came from Branson, Missouri. I played there a lot. Um, Christie Lane Theater. Uh, from my parents visited there, and I hope it will remind you of when you were on the road, and it sure will, <laughs> and it does. Um, I'm a fellow, gotta say it, Kiss fanatic, and the strap comes from my personal collection. I've looked at this one so many times on eBay and almost pulled the trigger on it. I've got one other Kiss strap from the same collection, but just one. And it's the one that just had the rhinestones from the uh, very first album, just the self-titled Kiss album. So that's the only one I've got. So I don't have any of the others. So this was really cool. Um, so just out of curiosity, is there any chance of seeing a future video of you um, talking about the new guitar technology out there? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm all about that. I'm tired of talking about the old technology. Everybody knows it. Kind of. <laughs> um, talk about the Line 6, the JVT series, or the PVAT 200. Uh, oh, yeah, the AT 200 guitars. Amazing. Auto tune. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually auto tune. Yeah. Um, perfect tune and all the time. No matter what your strings are tuned to, it is in tune. If all your strings are loose and flopping around, it will still be in tune. And if you do go to a, a E chord and that. G string that's supposed to be tuned a little bit flat to make everything kind of go together and then you go to A and then it's all usually out of tune. The AT200 fixes everything. It's like the um, tempered system you know for the frets. Um, it's a perfect instrument for being in tune. You can't, that's the best money you can spend on a guitar that will be in tune and it doesn't have things that gear uh, like the mini tunes on the Gibsons and stuff. Nothing whines, nothing does anything, it just is in tune. Kind of like my um, old Casio synth guitar. Um, I'm sorry, I can't see how that thing. Those aren't real strings. Um, you go to the top and they're just kind of chopped off and they're made out of um, nylon or something, but they're not tuned to anything. You could tighten them up by pulling them through there and then clamping them back down, but same thing with the PVAT200 guitar. Um, they can be simply tuned to anything. They don't have to be in tune. You know, you want them to be roughly so it feels right, but it does all the bends exactly right. It doesn't go, it's not glitchy at all. So yeah, I'll be glad to talk about that stuff. Um, I would like to thank you for your offering these trades and um, hope you enjoy what I send, of course, my friend. I look forward to using your videos uh, to better myself as a musician. And this is, uh, again, Benito Gonzalez. And um, I don't want to lose him over here again from um, over in Illinois. So, the last thing for the entire day here. There it is. There's the boys from the Alive 2 album on leather so how cool is that okay and again uh, Canada must have a lock on uh, making guitar straps made in Canada official official merch mer kiss merchandise Alive 2 right there it says there and yeah just how flipping cool huh so when I'm in my kiss gear and I'm ready to rock and putting on my Paul Stanley guitars, or if I ever even bother to put on any of the other, a silly thing, <laughs> but yeah, awesome dude, um, so everybody, can't thank you enough, and I will get in here and send you guys your downloads, all of you, thank you so, so very much, I will, as this is uploading, um, take the time that it takes for them to upload, um, to also send other people who have written, you know, the address and so forth and just keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. And again, don't give up on me, okay? Because I'm not giving up on you at all. I've got, I'm piling on more and more work for myself and, but so be it. That's what it is. Um, if I want to work, I want to work. So while I'm feeling kind of up to it, um, I'm, I'm taking on the band gig. Um, because I want, I think that it, some of it might be good for me to just get out, 
play again, lose some weight by jumping around on stage, and just be in a better frame of mind being on stage again with real musicians instead of my backing tracks. So um, the whole solo gigs, you know, I'll do whatever I can in between the regular ones. So again, um, mostwantedband.org uh, is the new band I'm joining up with. Again, I played with the uh, drummer and the fiddle player 11 years ago. And um, it'll be fun to get out and do it again. They went on to become uh, Southern Utahs and all of Utahs, and then they they go up to Jackson Hole and up to Salt Lake and so forth too, and then Southern Utah. But and you know, of course, do all the clubs, the fairs, and the opening shows for you know different um, stars and so forth. But um, no actual touring with you know people, but. Um, go check the band out and hopefully I'll be on the website sometime soon. I've noticed there is, hasn't been a whole lot updated in the years. Um, old pictures, old everything, so I'm going to try to kick them folks in the butt to get me added to it. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, go by, check them out, and um, I'll be posting videos of the band real soon, and you guys can see what I can actually do. I'll try to impress you, <laughs> just for fun. I'll... Um, not overstep my bounds within the good taste of the band, of course. Um, but it'll be fun to let you guys see me in a current live situation. So again, thanks for all of your donations, your letters, your gifts, your prick fish, your <laughs> the coffee. I will wake up to a fresh pot of coffee for the first time in forever. Fresh ground um, from Mexico. And everything. I mean, just in the straps and... The whole nine yards, everything I showed here, great stuff. So, much love, uh, Dr. Groovy out of here, and I'm sure more will show up tomorrow again. I'm uploading, I'm sending your lessons now, and as all that's happening, then I will take another couple dozen people and give them my address and do as much as I can, and I'm not going to skip anybody, I'm, it's just, it's a lot. Cause, you know, processing orders, and again, I do this on every video that I do, I stretch it out by telling you this, but I have a lot of different eggs and a lot of different baskets, so I got a lot on my plate, and I will get to you. Don't don't give up on me, okay? Because, again, I'm not giving up on you, because that's why I started this, because I don't want to have people out there that don't have access to good lessons, and my lessons are good lessons. Um, period. Um, again, they differ immensely from the freebies that I throw you here or they're on the website. And again, they are safe um, for people of all ages, so don't worry about starting off any lesson and having children in the room because um, they're all friendly videos, you know, language friendly and so forth. Um, but they're very good videos. Um, I'll pat myself till I'm blue in the face on these lessons. They're really good. You'll enjoy them. Um, and that's it. Thanks again. And I, like I said, much love to all you guys for doing this. And enjoy the holy crap out of the lessons. Keep in touch. Let me know how they're doing for you. And hopefully I'll read all these emails. Again, hard to keep up with them, but I... I started this, I'm seeing it through until whenever it's impossible to do it anymore, so, but I'm not going to make it impossible. I'll be here for you, okay? So, once again, Scott Grove, RoofyMusicLessons.com, MostWantedBand.org, and Good Country Band, yeah, like I said, Fiddle Player, of course, we do the Devil Went Down to Georgia, and the um, Orange Blossom Special, and all the good stuff, and right along with, um, God, we're doing Scorpions, and all kinds of heavy, deep, you know, deep purple and some of the class, you know, a lot of classics and even doing poison and <laughs> so it's everything. It's all kinds of different stuff and some new stuff to the, some of the stuff the kids like. So it'll be fun. So stick around for the ride, okay? And lots more things coming up, lots more things that I bought again today coming in, so.
Hell, that's the longest video yet for one of these. Okay, so I'll go find out if this was part four or part five, and I'll label it. See you guys um, tomorrow. Okay?